Welcome back to another episode of Hunting Sodak. If you can't tell by our weapon of choice, we're going after the elusive coyote. Dad just told me tonight that he saw a bunch of coyote tracks down about a quarter mile from our house, and we just weaned a bunch of calves today, so they're finally out of that pasture. So I'm gonna go out there with my thermal on that AR right there, and I'm gonna try to knock down a coyote. That's about all we got left to hunt up here is coyotes. All the geese are pretty much gone. We may go down and try to hunt some Canada geese a little bit later this year, but other than that, ducks is closed. Most of the snow geese have cleared out, so maybe a couple more goose hunts, but other than that, it's just coyotes now. So I'm gonna go shoot a coyote with my AR. I'm gonna take the Fox Pro out there, set it up, lean up against the bale stack on the downwind side, which you probably don't want your wind blowing towards the coyotes, but we're gonna be calling towards them with the wind blowing towards them. So hopefully that's okay, but we'll see. We're gonna load this gun up, grab the call, load up the truck, drive about an eighth mile from my house and walk out there and get after it. Before we get into the video, these hunting Sodak patch hats, they got a mallard duck and a pheasant on them. Super nice, high quality trucker caps are on my website right now. Link down below, huntingsodak.com. So you guys need to go check those out and get them today. And also, the Duck Duck Goose hoodies are still on the website. If you hadn't had a chance to get one yet and you still want one, they're over there on the website. We got all the sizes available. So go pick one up today if you haven't already. I've been hearing a ton of coyotes howling every night from inside the house so we can hear them. So they are around and hopefully we can get one to show up tonight to the call. Got a lot of bellering going on up here, which I don't know if that's gonna be good or bad. Coyotes have really good ears, so they should be able to pick up the call still, but I'm not sure. We're set up here. Wind's really ripping, but I'm on the back side of a bale right now. Where dad's been seeing these coyote tracks is through this gate right over here. We got the call sitting out over here about, I don't know, 20 yards. We're gonna give it a minute here. All these cows are bellowing, the wind's really blowing, so these coyotes should be in the area. I mean, with these cows bellowing like this, you'd think that would get a coyote going. Hopefully you can get one to show up. I'm gonna turn on a little cottontail sound here. Get the thermal ripping and see if we can't get one to show. Let's go. I didn't have time to put much charge on it. I should have charged it all. Oh yeah, we do have some weeds around us and there's a hill over here to our left. I almost wonder if we shouldn't crawl up on this bale stack so it can be up a little higher. I think I might do it. There's more wind, but I can see way farther. There's no coyotes in the area. I'll show you the cows though in the thermal click. Well, the freaking thermal is too dead to even call right now. I mean, to even record. Perfect. All right, guys, it is the next night. Last night, we went out there and my thermal hadn't charged. I was trying to charge it with a different charger. It didn't work. It wasn't going to record, but it was still working. So I hunted a little bit, didn't see anything come in. It was probably too windy last night, but tonight is way less windy and we're going to go out and try it again. We're going to go to that same spot, to that haystack, get up on there, set the call out again, turn it on, see what happens. Give it about 20 minutes. If that doesn't work, we're going to go over to Jim's to my deer stand, turn the heater on in there and hang out for like an hour call off and on and just chill see if anything comes in and that should be the move a little less wind hopefully they can hear the call and hopefully they come running in and get shot right in the face stay tuned all right we're gonna go give her a try got my gloves my call my ar with the thermal let's do it oh yeah baby this is our blind for the night oh yeah baby all right guys we're in position Wind's blowing this way. Most of the coyotes should be over there, so we're gonna get this call turned on. Grab our gun and get ready. We're probably gonna do a baby cottontail. That should be the best sound to use right now, you'd think. She's calling. Fingers crossed, baby. Just forgot I haven't loaded my gun yet. I missed him, I think. 
Boys, that thing came in so fast. You'll see it on the footage. He hit the call. He literally hit the call with his nose or something. He's like, oh, piss. He scooted. I had to shoot at him on the run. I tried to bark at him, too. Well, who knows? We're gonna. It's really windy, and these cows are bellering, so we're going to leave the call run. That was literally like three minutes in. He's hit. Punched him. <laughs> Boys, we're eight minutes into this hunt on the camera. Two coyotes already. Just punched that one. He came and stood still at like 200. Put it right over his back. It just snapped him. <laughs> we're gonna keep trying here, I guess. Keep the call running. Well guys, I think it's probably true. One guy say it'll happen in the first three minutes or it won't at all. And we had the first one come in three minutes. Then we had the second one come at about six or seven minutes. And that one's down. The other one came on a string though. He was at the freaking Fox Pro. He touched it with his nose. Imagine if I had a silencer, boys. I couldn't get that one to stop for me though. If you enjoyed that haystack shot, make sure to leave a like down below, folks. The dogs are out tonight, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, look at these tracks. Coyotes, coyotes, coyotes. Coyote, 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 coyote. They're everywhere out here. But I'm gonna go grab that coyote. I'll meet you guys back up here. All right, guys, there's our yote. Look at the shot I made on that guy. Perfect shoulder shot. He's a nice, clean-looking pup. I'll probably haul this one down to Ricky, see if he wants to pelt or anything off it. Not super big, but definitely a good coyote. Here's the gun of choice, the old cheapo DPMS Oracle. ATN Thor on that bad boy. Fox Pro. Did the trick tonight, baby. There, there's still a coyote out here. We know that for sure, so... I've decided I'm going to save these the rest of the coyotes for another day around here. We'll probably go out and try them soon again. Maybe Aiden will come on a hunt, maybe Jonah. Hopefully Sierra, she'll get to shoot another one. She did shoot one last year, but another one would be sweet for her. But don't forget, guys, before I wrap this video up, don't forget to go over to huntingsodak.com. It'll be linked down below. You can get yourself a HS hunting sodak patch hat. It's got a pheasant on there and a duck on there. Pretty cool. Got kind of an older school camo on there. Super nice, high quality trucker caps. So go down below, get one today. But other than that, we just smoked coyote with the thermal. That's exactly what we wanted to do. So hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, leave a like down below. We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Hopefully it's some more coyote hunting. Stay tuned. Peace. I woke up rich, put a smile on my face. It's the same damn thing like every day. And